And on this video, we're going to be taking a look at a very interesting OBD2 scanner, Blocktex 420 Bluetooth Enabled Scan Tool. Now, this is probably the smallest scanner I have ever reviewed on the channel, but it's also one of the easiest ones I have ever reviewed on the channel. And using the app is fully optional, but it does take the scanner to a whole new level. So first, I'll show you the main features of the scanner when connected to a vehicle, and then I'll show you how the app works and what it actually adds to this scanner. As always, I like to to remind you that I placed a link in the description down below to this product in case you want to get one for yourself. And the first step is going to be to connect the OBD2 scanner to the OBD2 port of my vehicle. If you have trouble finding your OBD2 port, I have made another video showing how you can find it. I'll put a link to it in the description down below. And here's the BlockTech 420 diagnostic tool. As you can see, it automatically detects the protocol that the car is using. In this case, it detected that it's using the CAM protocol and automatically checks to see if there are any DTCs set. So right now, the check engine light is not on because there are no dead DTC set. Also, you'll notice that we have a three LED light system, green indicating that all the systems are good, but we have two additional LEDs that can indicate if there is an issue with the car. Also in the top, we have indicators for the status of the emission systems in case we wanted to check if the car was ready for smog. As you can see, all the systems on this car are green, which means we are good to go as far as emissions inspection. And here's what it looks like when connected to a vehicle that does have a check engine light on and a code that has been stored. You can see, first of all, we have that yellow light indicating that there's a potential issue and we see that there is a code that was automatically pulled from the vehicle in this case PO135 a description of the code and the severity you can also see that the emission status lights only three of them are green they are four that are in red and are blinking telling us that those systems are not ready yet for emissions inspection and you can also view the freeze frame information by pressing enter and that is going to take you to the actual values that were going on on the vehicle at the time that the DTC was set. The other thing you'll notice is that this is code one out of two. If I press this button right here, it goes to the second code, which is PO141. And again, we have that description of what the code is, but notice now the difference that this code has not been fully set. This code is pending. And if we had fixed the issue, we can clear the codes by pressing this button right here that has a little eraser. And it says, are you sure that you wanna erase the codes? And then I can go ahead and hit yes, and it's gonna clear the check engine light. Next is gonna be live data and pushing this button automatically is going to take us to the parameters that are supported by our vehicle. In this particular case, this car supports 58 different parameters that we can see directly on this tool and the parameters are live. Now I'll scroll down through this list so you can see some of the parameters that are supported by this particular tool. However, remember the actual parameters that will be shown on here will vary from vehicle to vehicle. Some support more parameters than others as some have more sensors and some have less sensors. And the center button takes us to the main menu where we have vehicle information such as vehicle ID, available module supported by this vehicle and IPT. And you have noticed that navigating with this tool is fairly easy because all I have to do is go down with this arrow button and then once I get to the prompt that I need to, I can press the center button and that's going to take me to the next prompt. We also get a battery test in case we wanted to test the battery on our vehicle and the instructions are built in directly into the scanner. Notice again how I'm using that arrow button to navigate through the screen and the center button as the back button. Next is the alternator test and again the instructions are built in onto the screen in case I wanted to start that to confirm if the charging system on this vehicle is working correctly. We we also have an explanation of the different icon for the monitors that are shown on the top to determine if the car is ready for smog inspection and you can see what each one of them means. For example, you can see that O2S means oxygen sensor monitor, CAT means catalytic monitor and you can scroll through this list in case you wanted to see what that particular icon means. We also have an explanation of the LEDs on the bottom. As you can see, a green LED indicates all the engine systems are running normally and the check engine light is off. Yellow indicates that there's a possible problem with the engine systems so there's probably a check engine light that's about to turn on because there is a pending DTC and finally red indicates that one or more of the systems have a problem and the check engine light is on so there will be a code stored on the vehicle next up is language selection where we have three different choices to change the language of this tool and we can also adjust the brightness of the screen and I'll click on here so you can see how I can make the screen darker or I can make it brighter Next up is an audible tone. Now I'm going to turn this on so you can hear what this is. And every time I press a button, 
you're gonna get this annoying beep in my opinion. <laughs> so I like to turn the audible tone off. Next up is footer, and that is the information that is shown on the bottom of the screen, which is convenient to have when you're learning how to use the tool. However, once you know how to use it, you can turn that off, and as you can see, the footer information is gone, so we get to use more of the screen. We also have a quick description of what the different keys on the bottom do. As we saw earlier, this one can erase the codes. This one right here takes us to the freeze frame data and check for any codes. This one can act as an enter or back. This one allows us to see live data, and this one allows us to go down next up is the unit of measurement and here we have standard or metric and the next option is firmware version that allows us to see the software that this tool is currently running and in case i wanted to use the app we get a qr code that allows us to download the repair solutions app i can scan this download it and then pair the tool to the app and finally i get the repair to solutions app message setting and if i turn this on the tool is going to remind me that there is an app available for it every time I use the tool. Eventually, you probably downloaded the app or maybe you chose not to use the app so you can turn off this reminder message off. And the scanner uses the Repair to Solutions app, which is available both for Android and Apple devices. And what the app does, it downloads the diagnostic history from the scanner onto our phone so we can review it in more detail. Let me show you how that looks. And here's what the reporting history looks like on the app. And as you can see, the different vehicles that we have diagnosed have been saved on here. And you can see right away, this one's green because there are no problems, so it is good to go. However, let's look at the one that is red because this had issues on there. Clearly is not ready for emissions check and there were three engine codes found. And you can see what the engine codes were for. Here they are in detail. But, and here's what I love about the Repair to Solutions app, they'll make a suggestion for this is most likely the part that is gonna fix it, even give you a part number, but also give us a little shortcut in case we wanted to purchase that part that may potentially fix the issue. You'll also notice that certain codes will have an additional tab that says show details and will give you more information such as the severity. This particular item is medium and it will tell you why it considers that to be a medium and the effect on the vehicle if this issue is not repaired accordingly. But going back to the main screen for that vehicle, you'll also notice that the app has automatically pulled any technical service bulletins, which we call TS and any potential recalls that may be out for the vehicle and you can see them directly on the app without having to go through some internet searching or website or the dealer to find that information that is super convenient scrolling down on this main page you also have upcoming maintenance items and again they have given us the part number for what we need in this particular case the part number for the oil filter and a little shortcut in case we wanted to buy it and we also have an advisement of hey these are the other things that you should also check as part of the upcoming maintenance and finally we also get predicted repairs which are things that block deck has estimated that can potentially fail on the vehicle on the future so there are things to watch out for and the potential cost to replace any of these items that may be coming up for repair but here's another reason why i think this scanner is going to be a great fit for anybody who's starting to work on vehicles and that is the fact that they have support base here in the us so they do have the ability for you to pick up the phone and talk to an AEC certified technician who can give you assistance on what you are trying to diagnose on your vehicle. But going back to the tool, while this thing is extremely small and tiny, I actually see that as a positive thing. I can still use and see the display versus just those separate dongles that you use with an app. And I, being this small, I can just carry this in my vehicle as a backup tool to my main OBD2 scanner. So remember, I put a link in the description down below to this scan tool in case you wanna get one for yourself. And if you guys have any other questions regarding this product, also put them in the comments down below. And if you found any part of this video helpful, hit the thumbs up button to support the channel and stay tuned as I have a lot more OBD2 scan tool reviews coming up for you guys. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, I'll see you on the next one.